do to carry the hype train forward into this grand final. Thank you very much, Jahar, and hello, everyone. We will be going to the grand final in a few moments with Toxic and Dehang, but carrying on from their predictions, are you on a Dehang hype train or are you on the Tox hype train? I really don't want to say this because I cannot bear seeing Machiavelli get any more smug, <laughs> but I am just feeling Dehang in this one. I know what you mean. And it's going to be, I just think that Team Liquid and Dehang are step by step making America great again. <laughs> I think I heard a few, a few, a few yells there in the audience. Someone, someone like that. <laughs> but uh, uh, what? Okay, I actually I'm agreeing though with Machiavelli a little bit too. So you think the hang? I think the hang, but the, the only reason is is because when um, the hang is not at his greatest form, his lows are still quite high and his highs are very high. Yeah. Whereas if Tox is at a low, it is pretty low comparably. But his highs are just extraordinary, you know, world-changingly good. So. I think on balance, I'm going to go with the hang. I think he's so going to get the, the double whammy, rules if you want to call the day. it that. Yeah, at the moment, that's what I'm going to the roll big, with. The biggest, I'm, look, Tox can take this, there's no doubt about it. The biggest fear for me, and he said it in his own interview, and this is something I alluded to earlier, is that he is a passive player. Hmm. He likes to play defensive and stick in his comfort zone until he feels capable of pushing out. But when you do that against the hang, particularly Ooh. when Clutch is on the board, you allow the hang to recoup. You allow that ability usage to come back up, and you don't have to restack up. And if you let if you let Clutch do that continuously, there will be a point where he overbears you. Mm. Even with the aim that Toxic has, it doesn't matter when you have an invul invulnerable fridge coming at you. He's eventually <laughs> going to kill you. So for me, if Toxic is able to keep pressure up, keep up the pace, as it as we saw in certain moments in St. Cypher, that's where he's going to find the most amount of victory within this. If he doesn't do that, I definitely think that the hand has the tactical now to go over. Well, what was interesting, going into map one Blood Covenant, uh, all three light champions were picked by Toxic, and then we got Slash, uh, Nyx, and um, Clutch yeah. picked by the hang. Interesting, a triple light lineup. I don't always consider it amazing, but maybe this is Tox's kind of thought. Get the fast champions, get the Nyx, the champion can escape, so that maybe that's something that he can control the Clutch with on an open map uh, such as Blood Covenant. I would have liked to see perhaps a sword lag in there to mix up a bit, but it's all about that pace. No, oh, absolutely. But everyone, we've got to the ultimatum here at DreamHack Winter 2017 for the Quake Champions Invitational Final. It is going to be Tox versus Dehang. Let's move in. And uh, to start with, we have got Dehang over here. He's got the rocket spawn combined with the rail, yet to pick up the armor. But uh, he's got that whenever he wants. He's just going in for aggression at the moment, and Tox is just going to have to slip right away. He does. Excellent read off the spawn as Dehang gets the earlier rocket launcher spawn and catches Tox on the edge, just picking it up. Both starting with the slash, so a lot of aggression making coming out here. These players are uh, arguably the best slash on either side of the Atlantic. It'll be very interesting to see who's going to be measuring out better. We've got a small attack over at the rocket. Dehang won't make the leap across the gap and will split as another way. And to begin with, it is the hang that is picking up this pace initially, putting pressure on Tox, but both falling back to trade major items to now. Once again, a little bit cagey. It is the grand final. So taking their time, we can see Tox sneaking around in the X-ray. The hang might get him from behind here, and he does. Ooh, just going to trade places between the teleporter. Plasma trail used by Tox, so there's no way to chase. And the hang will probably think about doing that soon because he's got an advantage stack. He's going to make his way towards the heavy. The hang is an extremely item oriented, oriented player in where his decision making is strongly based around the knowledge and information gained from item timing. So Toxic for me needs to make more emphasis on these items already. But this is a great push using the wow. perfect trail to push in. He might get the kill over here if he switches over to the rockets. This surely is Tox is going to get first blood of the grand finals. And Dehan kind of stuck himself in a little bit of a trap under the bridge there. That uh, wasn't able to get him out of there again. Tox I think Tox to... knows he's still in there. Oh, we can see him oh. of the rail. Looking to follow up here. The ghost Jeez. walk is forced out. Time for Tox to get over to that heavy. To hang he's... playing with fire there. Yeah, he's far away from Tox right now. And he holds steady on his position while he waits for that ghost walk to come back up. He's been spotted. Tox 
He's looking through a man mode at the moment. He's found him. And oh, the hang still keeps the high ground, but the rocket damage keeps coming out. He's going to find him once more. Can he find him with the rail as well? Not going to land the rockets. And he's just being dodged around all the time with only nine HP remaining. How did he has nothing to hit there? That was perfect. Oh, perfect decision making from Tox because the ghost walk wasn't up. And now it is. He needs to retreat and quickly. Ooh, oh, that was so close. Maybe health comes straight after that rail. I think it was very smart positioning by Hank, despite being very vulnerable. But he's going to look to chase now. He finds him directly in front, but two rockets bounce around. He finds one more, but the final shot has not come out. He gets the armor, makes himself invulnerable to at least one rail. And then they're going to split once more. Toxic, full natural stack in just a second, knows exactly where he is. Wants to continue riding that momentum from earlier, but he's at risk of De Hang shutting that one down and he's landing good damage. De Hang hits one, almost by another. De Hang is putting up a very good fight at the moment. And this is what I wanted to see from Tox. Even though it's not the clutch at this point in time, I like to see the fact that Tox is keeping pressure on De Hang and making him on the back foot because once again the Ghost Walk is forced out, which means Tox can use the initiative, which is exactly what he's doing to do with his plasma trail right now. Dig up and. Over bridge, over Terrell. Gonna find him as Mega is taken. Doesn't quite land any chip then, but I think he saw the yeah, blue smoke. Yeah, definitely so saw the smoke. That rocket, actually, that was timed amazingly from De Hang. And the heavy's up at the moment. Tox, is he gonna be able to find an aggle to do any damage? He should know that the Ghost Walk is not up for a while, but he's got to cut off De Hang. Those time shards reducing the cooldown on his ability. Tox not needing to pick up any items given that. The Nyx doesn't benefit a huge amount from Whoa. being overstacked, but there's some great rockets. The Hang's in trouble here. He's got to hold out for two more seconds. How does he get out of there? That was very impressive work from him. His Ghost Walk wasn't up. Tox misses a jump to look for another rail angle. Yeah, not Stop. sure that Tox was quite aware how low the Hang was, but what Tox is doing very well overall is maintaining position. Yes, he's not being super aggressive on the items, but he's making sure that his position is always key. As we saw against Cypher earlier, in order for him to do maximal damage as well as stay safe. But that was a good turnaround by the Hang hitting a nice rocket and rail. This time, Tox has to stay on the low ground to stay particularly defensive. Only 25 seconds to go. The Hang's got to go for something. He's found Tox now, but he's got to chase through the plasma trail. Fortunately, he's got Ghost Walk, but he keeps following through it. Tox evades, gets up to high ground and leaps across with that extra movement. Really far smart side by of the map. Tox. Yeah, recognizing the chase was on with the Ghost Walk. And just playing a little bit of footsie and going up that jump pad. Well, five seconds to go. De Hang, if he's not able to find Tox right now, we'll be losing the first round. So we've got an advantage for the Swede. Very, very good start for Toxic here. Really nice play. One. Perfect execution. Never over and overextending, but making sure that he wasn't passive enough to give De Hang a free reign of the map. Always making his presence felt, particularly with that rail. So it's good to see Tox hitting his shots at the start of this game. Oh, we're going to be on board with Tox to start with over here. And if you just tuned in, guys, we're watching Quake Champions 1 versus 1. You start with three lives each, and you've got to eliminate all your opponent's champions. That will earn you one round, and you've got to earn one, uh, three rounds to win the map. So welcome anyone on Twitch just tuning in now. Tox, though, on a chase. Going to use his ability to help him get across. Looking for some of that extra damage onto De Hang. He's going to find him now, actually. De Hang is pushed very hard. He's on a small amount of health. A rocket will take him down. The shotgun's not quite working for him. And that was one point of health for De Hang. Aye, aye, aye. De Hang getting in a way the skin of his teeth again. Toxic, though, forced away considering how low he was. But. I was going to run into him over at the health bubble. Nice. What a rocket there from De Hang. He's going to get the edge here in the second round. This time, we have to see Tox push out. Can he do that well? That the is the friends. question. Two amazing rails so far. Whoa, he's just spots Tox over there. He's like, hell no, I am getting out of there. You, sir, are far too good with that weapon. Going to be able to slip away. I think that was yeah, the angle behind that Tox had. De Hang able to heal up a little bit. Heard the bounce pad going. And he's going to decide, does he want to go over to the Mega? Because that's the next big item spawning. Tox has all open access to. The interesting thing for me is the way in which the Hang picked Clutch on this map in particular. It's not something we talked about yet, but he hasn't picked it on Blood Covenant in the past, and it's extremely difficult to play Clutch here in general as he goes up the jump pad, but 
nothing going to be going on just yet. And I think for me, that might be a. Uh, as we have Whoa. an engagement and then Ghost Walker is forced out, it might be a signal of respect that he understands Tox has the superiority of mechanical skill and has to have that clutch as a backup. Yes, yet to see that clutch. Well, could come out soon. Great defensive rocket from Tox as he still doesn't have the Ghost Walk available to him. He hits the rail. The hang will he try and search for another angle? He's only got a couple of points of health, and Mega has been taken by Tox. Looking out for these rockets, too. And uh, in order not to see the same situation this round, but the. Uh, for the other player, we're going to need to see Tox make a comeback. So far, Slash has reigned supreme. He knows where the hang is. Oh, so he changes the weapon to the lightning gun. I think Rocket, he ran out of ammunition, so he could no longer use it. His attack was completely foiled, partially by himself. One good rail, follow nice. up another. This is huge for Tox. He's got to try and press this occasion. Shotgun up around, he Ooh. looks for that. What is see fire. Rocket jump and Ghost Walk here. That would be a very good call, actually, but the Mega's up and he notices that the Hang's not going to give up an angle. But he needs to keep the pressure up. He cannot afford to let the Hang restack. He's only got two rails to go. He's going to find him once. Gets a good nice. blast. The, the Hang kills himself. So it is going to be Tox able to tie up the champion score. And now we get the clutch out from the Hang. We've seen what he's capable of earlier in the tournament. The man is arguably the best player on this champion in the world. We see, what's, uh, what's got for it? see a change of strategy because... What? Whoa, that was quick. That's it. You do not want to get in the way of this robot. He didn't even use his ability and was just able to completely able to eliminate Tox. Well, Tox now has just over one minute to tie up the tie up the champion score as he is losing by one. He's got the anarchy to try and do this. A lot of LG damage and to hang stubborn and not wanting to use his ability. Getting caught out again. He has to be careful. What a great rocket, but here comes the shield out. He's going to land a rail and still has some of his shield up. Tox gets the armor on the floor, so we'll survive another. But he's under a lot of pressure. Only 27 health left. Tox is going to have to do something. Nice. Pushing in with the LG, tying it up once more. What Tox has shown in this game is a great awareness of the, the kind of momentum of the map, recognizing his key opportunities at each individual combat point where the hang is weak or struggling with his ability usage and pushing in excellently at every single time. Tox, what else can he do on the Anarchy? Can he put himself onto map point with this one? It's been ever so solid so far. And we're 20 seconds away from hitting the time limit of round two, but they've got one champion each. It will be the next frag winning regardless. Time is irrelevant now as they both have, as you say, last champion remaining. Good ro good rail offsetting the hangs push up there, but Ghost Walk's still up, so the priority is to try and force that out. Oh, he's found him all of a sudden. And there it is. All right, he's got a, if he can make a good read here, then it could work out for him, but unfortunately for Tox, the hang is going to disappear to the other side. I don't expect the pace to stop, though, as Tox should be rushing in here. The, the heavy is up right now. Doesn't it's need it, useful. though. Did you hear him? He's right below. Rail's going to miss from the hang. Raining down some rockets, but this might be the signal. To oh, move back. What, what a shot. That was awesome from the hang. Going to be tying up the round score there. And I think just a little bit too risky play from Tox. He smelt blood, but maybe controlling was better then. I mean, it was. it's one of those things where you only have a set amount of opportunities. And against a player like the hang, you have to take every single one. So once the Ghost Hawk was popped out, Tox was at pretty much full stack. So it was a complete right decision to go in. Oh. Tox, he's so weak, he moves in very, very quick. And I mean, it's overzealous really with his plays just then. The hanger's going to quickly eliminate him. Tox now with the Nyx, forced to use the Ghost Walk. The Mega is right up above, fades the rocket, and is going to just slip away. The Hang just getting the slightly more fortunate spawn on the rocket launcher side and using that to best effectiveness. Tox forced to pop the Plasma Trail given that he was bounced towards the hang and there was no real hope after that. But he has an opportunity here with the high ground. He can push it because he knows the hang doesn't have any weapons. Looking for another rocket to follow up. Can he find any more? Only 37 HP himself. And the hang still had a small stack available. He's trying to, he's at least trying to continue pressuring. He's really not making the hang feel completely safe. But the hang is the one who's perpetuating that control on the items. Yeah, I'm massively impressed with Tox's in-game in-game combat awareness. Like super aggressive by the hang. Whoa. The rockets, a chance for another Ooh. one, but he's forced to use that ghost walk. There's the uh, escape button just there. 
A little bit of machine gun damage, though, not too bad. There's the hang pressing forward, 45 damage done. Maximum natural stack for Tox. Both these players quite happy and willing to keep the pressure up, particularly uh -oh. the slash as they meet in wow. this upper area. What a trap there from Tox. So much of the Hang's health was lost there. That was good. Recognizing that the Hang knew the item timing, completely offsetting it and baiting the Hang into that trap. Fortunately, didn't work out. If the armor up, does Tox want to go for it? Does he want to try and set another trap? He's heard the Hang over the other side, but just going to be missing out on that angle. Whoa. The Hang over at the time shards. Can nice. find one rail? Extraordinary aim that we're seeing at the moment, but he needs to continue this pressure as Mega's up uh, immediately. Mouse pad not being used to hang it, recognizing the danger. Both of these players are completely on point with their reads. Tox initially planning around the hang's perfect item timing, and that time to hang recognizing Tox's Whoa. pressure and not going up the jump pad. To hang, I mean, he might already be looking at the clock at this case because he's under so much pressure. He's still got that champion advantage. So if uh, clock hits five, uh, it would be him that goes to map point. Yeah, pressure is on Tox, but two and a half minutes remaining is plenty of time. The slash is always particularly vulnerable. Hasn't got that ghost walk like the Nyx, but the pace is just such, such a difficult thing to lock slash down, and hitting rails is the key. He's looking for another rail shot here. Going to switch over to a rocket. Ooh, so close. Hit a follow-up. Looking through the teleport exit, not quite finding the angle, but he's just hidden right next to him. Is he going to find it? No, he's behind. He did not spot him and is forced to use the ghost walk. The hang with a great trap over there. This is risky. He needs to back off. He cannot afford to lose another champion at this stage of the game. So that is a good decision by Tox, as he was railable. The mega is going to be up. But it is going to be now getting into the period of time where we should ex be expecting to hang to turtle and staying around this this. Slanted Corridor is the ideal place to do it with multiple exits and a good information point for gonna find him. general sound as well. Wow, the hang. Only one to land the rail there, forcing Tox back onto the resources immediately and giving himself a good position. Can he set up a similar trap to before? He might run into Tox. He can hear him. He knows where he is. Trying to time that rocket perfectly on the exit, but Tox takes the other route. Uh, it's going to get crunch time soon for Tox. The Hang just missing out on that rocket there. And Tox has given some space. One minute remaining. He's got the opportunity to use two Ghost Walks. I'd love to see them being used aggressively right now because it is getting in desperate territory as the Hang is playing extremely well. Staying on the high ground is very good because of the fact that he has full awareness of the entire map. I'd love to get the chance to see if Tox can conjure up a comeback of some sort over here. Here we go. And uh, with the heavy armor, this could be a place to attack. The hang is over there, and if there's ever a chance for uh, Tox to hit some shots, it's going to be right now. He knows he's around the side. He's found him. Nice. Hit the mid air rocket, and he's surely to the close that one rail. He no. can't do it. The hang is going to be surely locking this one down with only 20 seconds to go. He's hiding on the side stairwell. I don't think there's time. It's he needs to find him within the next two seconds, and that has to be the second round now, going to the hang after a perfectly played, patient round from the American. Yeah, that's it. Tox unable to find him. It is going to be De Hang who's putting himself onto map point, going 2-1 up currently on Blood Covenant. Got to say, though, though, the attack that Tox tried to create was so well engineered, he just couldn't execute quite as well as the Hang. No, and it was that initial defensive rocket from the Hang knocking Tox up that did sufficient damage, enabling that rail just to kill him. So a good reaction coming out from the Hang there. Well, Tox, even Stevens on this round now, looking to get himself the railgun. Toxic being far more patient after the previous rounds where he was caught in this railgun area by the Hang a number of times. But the problem, as we can see, is that the Hang is Hanging around on that top area, preventing Ooh. Toxic from getting the rocket launcher, which he so desperately needs. Tox, three rails missed. The hang, the only one to put any pressure there. He has moved away. Tox knows that. He's trying to skid over. Oh no. Ooh, 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 just about dodging away from that rail. Tox Still without rockets. the rocket launcher. And he can 
to spot the plasma trail now from uh, from the hang. Looking to get a shot through the teleporter. Gonna search for one more. He sees the hang go off. Will the hang drop? He jump up. He does. Doesn't get it in time though. This is good control that we've been seeing from the hang. He's even investing his health and armor into making rocket jumps through the teleporter. Uses that plasma trail on the exit, trying to block off the path. Knew exactly where he was and almost found the rail to follow up. Tox might be able to just take control here. No frags exchanged whatsoever, but you can see that oh, he eventually finds the angle so patient with that one and only one rail to go. Nearly a really nice trap, but the hang playing it safe and dropping down to the low levels. That's where you're most secure. Very defensive down there. That's going to be the armor too. Mega spawns in a second. He's only got this one rail left. And he's not going to be able to put pressure on the Mega soon enough. But there it is. Spotted the hang. They're going to fade away. Not feeling that's a fight favorable for either of them. Initial entry damage for Tox. Can try to find one more rail, but he's run out of ammunition at the moment and he's weak on health. He's going to have to back off from this and eventually find his way to the rail again. Two minutes pass, and you can feel the tension between these two. One rail for Tox. It's going to find oh, almost some more damage. It hits the ledge in time. Look at the rail follow. Oh. Can't quite get it. That would have closed it out. Just keeping the pressure up, knowing the hang has nothing to work with, and Tox Whoa. with a good stack should be able to get this mega as well and then continue pushing in. This is it. He's got to ride this wave. He knows exactly where he's going. Going in with the LG, trying to follow up on this, but pushed out of the way with the rockets. The hang barely surviving. The rail lands. There's such a small amount of health for the American. Tox with so many weapons, a great amount of health and armor. He, he has not. got to close it. The hang sneaks away another time. But still, Tox should be keeping the pressure up. He has to get the Mega somehow. He can't allow the Hang to take this, despite that natural stack of reaching it. He finds him with a rocket, follows up with another, but it's 50 health left for Tox. The Hang might get the counter-attack. No! Nice. Oh, real lands! Tox leading in round four. You can see the switch up of strategy once again from the Hang. Oh, the no! Tox continues this. The, the robot has spawned, though. Dehang's clutch is on the map, and Tox has got to find a way to manage this. Yes, but the, the pressure is not on Tox. It is on Dehang, and trying to pressure with clutch is a very difficult task, particularly against Slash on such a wide open map. You're so oh. vulnerable to everything that Dehang has to play absolutely flawlessly to get this round back. There's only one more rocket to go. He has a bit of shotgun, but notice the plasma trail's up. Walking through that plasma trail is virtually suicidal. And he needs to still collect all the weapons as well. He probably needs a rail gun. Shouldn't have to worry much about the well, lightning gun. No, not at all. The, the key for Tox here in terms of defending is to keep range. To try and stay, pretty much try and stay on the high ground for as much as you can and try and just keep at range. Use the sound cues to make sure that you're never in a close proximity to the hang because if the hang corners you, that's the only chance Whoa. he's got. Excellent, forcing the shield out already. He's got good distance, but a brilliant oh. rocket and the follow-up combo from the hand. That was amazing. He's bought himself um, a good amount of well, opportunities with the amount of time left. But there is a Nyx on the map and no shield as well, meaning the Ghost Walk is very effective at this point in time. The hang making sure he gets all of those time shards and is already back up. He has one more key attack. Oh, the, the shield comes out of time. He's going to try and close the gap. The Ghost Walk's forced out, but he can still see him. Too weak to commit. He needs to restack up, and that is the longest thing for a clutch to do. The hang has to be quick now. He doesn't really have time to get anything else except for this mega. I think Tox could decide you know, if he wanted to close it out now, but he, looking at the amount of time left, there's no point. He heard him. Oh, he's found him over here. There's still no Ghost Walk. If he can land the shots, what a rail. He's got 10 seconds to go, though. He knows where Tox is. Tox, he's over by the heavy. He's going to find him down below. He's got to trust in his read at the moment. Two seconds remaining, trying to close the gap, but he oh! can't get it. We've got the tie-breaking round here to determine who Tox wins this one. was so lucky. I said the hang had to play perfectly, and he did. It was a Four. matter of two or three health separating to hang from victory in that round. Unreal plays. Well, this one's going to decide just map one. We've got a best of five on our hands, and we are still very much at the beginning of it. And checking out the hang at the moment. See what he can do for us. He is so nice. weak, but the rockets really are nice. landing from him. The hang plays that spawn so well, and Tox needs to be careful. The last round he did it excellently, but 
a little bit of impatience coming out, going up the jump pad is always so dangerous uh -oh. when you don't know where he is, then he's, he shouldn't have the speed to catch a flying, sliding the hang around the map. I think part of the problem is maybe not even the right weapons then. Otherwise, he could have... the flag, frag? Oh, no, it's just here because he walked through the ghost walk of uh, Tox. Yeah, I think Tox only had a rocket launcher and the hang was going the other way, so there was absolutely no chance to ever catch him. The hang. Searching around Mega Area. Is he going to be able to run into him? I don't know if he's aware that there's no Ghost Walk. He's trying to land more shots, but Tox evasive as ever. Ghost Walk's back up, so Tox in an okay position. If you're going to lose one champion, it's better to have it right at the start than right at the end. Good roll. He followed up with another. Oh, this excellent return fire. And Tox is forced to use the Ghost Walk. Waits around to see what he does, but he's going to be caught out. Unfortunately for Dahang, he's not able to find the last rail angle at all. Oh, Whoa. what a rail there from Dahang! He just needs one more frag to get that early advantage in the series. Oh, a little bit of pressure here with Shigan. Nice. I can't believe the shots he's landing. The Whoa. rockets as well. What a dominating performance Jeez. in the final round of the map. Dahang, he goes one map up in the grand finals. Those gamer glasses doing work with some of those reaction <laughs> shots because the hang was playing out of his mind for the last kind of minute and a half there. Uh, it's unbelievable how he's been at this tournament. I mean, I think we're seeing a very high level from Ooh. both players. But uh, De Hang, I mean, he's popping off of these rails. These are seriously hard shots to land, especially at the speed that yeah. both players are traveling. And what De Hang did extremely well throughout that entire duel was he picked his fights extremely carefully, and I think that's why he picked the clutch anyway, because it's not mm. a champion he normally picked for that map, and it allows you to manage those fights a lot more effectively. And yes, the hang played a bit more standoffish, but as you saw in the kind of last two rounds, when he wants to commit, when he knows the time is right, he did it effectively, very, very effectively, and he's hitting his shots. Obviously, the sacrifice has warmed it up. On the flip side, I thought Toxic, the, way, the pace that he used was perfect. That's what he needs to do against De Hang going into these later stages. And now we're going to see the clutch move up the priority list for De Hang. Mm -hmm. It's definitely time for Toxic to keep the pace up when De Hang has that, when De doesn't have his shield up. No, completely. I mean, I'm not too worried about Tox at the moment just yet. We're still in the early stages. No map at this stage is going to decide the outcome of the grand final. But if De Hang is to take it and to put himself onto match point, that's going to be a pretty tall mountain for Tox to look at surpassing. Yeah, he definitely needs to take this, this secondary map. It's never nice to go 2-0 mm. down, particularly against the hang, and then pressure's always upon you. And that's when you start making more rash decisions. And in the duel, in particular, you have to stay composed and calculated throughout because every decision makes a huge, huge impact. And this is going to be a mountain for Tox to climb. We ha I don't think we've seen to hang lose a round on this map because his clutch has been so dominant throughout. Mm. And we've got the early clutch pick from the hang. Talks with Nyx. I, su I suspect we'll get a Sawlag from him over here. There it is. Look at that, Zoot. Ah, I got it. On fire. I got, I got all the tricks. What's going to be the Taking last pick? Uh, uh, Anarchy. Uh, whoa! Oh, whoa! Whoa! We have not seen a scale bearer in a while. I okay. can see a glimmer in your eye of uh, quite uh, what should be uncensored excitement. I, lo <laughs> I, love, I love the big man. And what that shows, obviously, is that Tox has a plan he has a strategy and i've been talking to a few people and they said why don't you pick the scale bearer i said why don't you pick the scale bearer? <laughs> you can charge you the that anyway though. you can charge through the shield you have a an equal stack to the clutch pretty much um you're not the fastest thing in the world but as long as you've got good positioning which tox does you can work around that and when it comes to those mid-range fights if you have a bigger or equal stack to your opponent and better aim which tox should it generally works out in your favor so We'll see what he has to play with this, because we haven't seen this in Jewel all tournament long. Exactly. This was something that a long time ago in Quake Champions, Tox liked to pick, but it'll be fascinating to see what happens now. But everyone, we're moving into map two of the DreamHack Winter 2017 Quake Champions Invitational Final. It is Team Liquid to Hang versus your ho boy sweet Toxic. Let's get this one going. Tox immediately with the bull rush and just asserting himself on Corrupted Keep. Literally, that is one way to make a statement, charging through the teleporter. <laughs> He's picked it first as well, so... He always used to be a player who, who wouldn't save the bull rush for special occasions or anything like that. It's very much, we'll use it frequently, it's great for 
mobility. Yeah. And we'll just you know, really try to make sure he's got the resources because his stack challenges the stack of Clutch quite well. You can see this positioning. He's not just obviously camping, but extremely aware that without the rocket launcher, he is vulnerable. And he's waiting for Tahang to be out of position before moving in. Whoa. And we see the tribal in use. That's this is something. A lot. This is something Tox has done before. Uh, when Clutch used to get picked a lot, and Tox was one of the better players at utilizing the tribal because it does an immense amount of damage. And essentially, he's the size of a barn, so it's pretty <laughs> easy to hit. I wonder if all the people at home who play and you know, go, oh, it's Nyx, Anarchy, and Doomslayer that you've got to play only. Uh, Not they're anymore. seeing here in the grand final the kind of compositions we've got. This is remarkable to hang, though. Oh, I can't quite get himself the rocket but at the beginning. Tox has forfeited the armor to get a weapon because the hang was monopolizing the uh, far side of the map. Whoa, what a rocket that was. Follow-up was almost there, too. Going to find a little more LG. Damage, try and push the, the issue. LG's flawless, and Dahang is going to get first blood on Corrupted Keep. Unfortunately, the scale bearer didn't work out, but Dahang's done an amazing job of just standing his ground and stopping Tox from getting any key weaponry. He has, still has the shield up, so we should be OK. That was brilliant pressure from, uh, from Tox for a moment. It was good pressure, and he forced the shield out, so Expect once again to hang to go on the back, on the defensive, and just play a little bit passive until that shield comes back up. I think once Mega's taken, I think Tox is then going to look to get in his face. I mean, he should do it quite fast. There yeah, he knows he's only got a limited amount of time. He doesn't even want to fall for the Mega. He just wants to check that the hang is nowhere to be found. But as you can see, the hang is hiding in that corridor for another three seconds until he's ready to move out. The shield is oh, back no. up already. He's going to use this immediately. He's following up, and here comes the pressure. But now he's got no Ghost Walk to use. Fortunately for him, he's bounced away. Dahang trying to look for it with the shotgun, but not enough damage. And I really think that next time the shield is used, and that there's a stack for Tox, so in a similar situation now, Tox has got to go very quickly. I don't think Dahang's likely to lurk around the items and go for that damage, because he knows. Here's the LG pressure. So much damage delivered by Tox, and he's going to so continue it. So many that sevens, rocket. but just not enough. That was the one thing that Dahang needed to do in order to survive in that situation. But Tox, he's got the Solag. The shield has just come back up. Oh, he's going to go in for the acid spit, but between the shield the being up... so low! He finds the damage as well. Just as uh, the clutch is looking to do use the rockets, his shield goes down for just a moment, and Tox times his shotgun blast flawlessly. Really great play by Tox. Already forcing out the Ghost Hawk, and now we should just see ultimate speed coming out for Toxic. Can he get across to the heavy armor for it spawns? He's going to be a second late, so he backs off and protects the rocket launcher area. Oof. Good read on where the hang has that. already used the ghost walk, obviously. So this is where we'll see him sitting in those back channel areas. He's very composed. Will never move out unless he's he knows he's got an escape option. Some good fadeaway rockets we saw from the hang earlier. Uh, with Mega up, Tox is not really present on the items, which could cause a bit of a stir. Oh, does find one shot, goes to walk out. He's got, go, he's got the read as well. Oh, he found him. He did not trust in his instincts. And despite the hang being the, you know, the lower maximum stack champion, he's the one getting all the items. And there's 24 health left. The hang looking to close this one out, but he can't push through the doorway anymore. Oh, if Toxic just he didn't have a machine gun. The spam is so necessary. Four seconds until mega health. Gonna find him across. Surely pushing through here is so dangerous. It is for both of them because there's no ghost walk up and they've both got very small stacks at the moment. The hang just hiding downstairs. He's got 30 seconds. Tox needs to make a move now. He has to force out the ghost walk and kill the hang in the next 25 seconds. Got to run. Time to go. He knows exactly where he is. It's such a common hiding place. He's got to press the issue. Rocket jumps maybe even to be used. He spots him on the side. Rocket's not landing. A little bit of shotgun blast. He's forced it out and he's got the mega health. So this he's, is the he one He's the right read now. Where's he gone? Going through the teleporter. Five seconds remaining. Here come the further jumps, but he cannot find enough he's... time. There's two seconds to go. The hang hiding just around that wall. He'll be taking round one. On corrupt keep. Close. And we see what Tox's tactic is here. It's get in the face of the clutch, force the shield out, and just make him fight. It nearly worked. He got really unfortunate with that scale barrier. So let's see what he can do this second round. I'm nervous. He needs to get to that rocket before clutch. I'm nervous that and this isn't theory crafting, though, from Tox. 
that he thinks this is something that could beat the clutch. And you know, maybe, well, we'll see now. He's gone in aggressive, but the shield's been used. He finds one direct rocket, but still hurting a lot. He's going to meet fire with fire. He does, we've seen other players trying to play plus back against the clutch, whereas Tox isn't afraid. He's got no more rockets left at the moment. Almost under direct pressure from the hang. Eventually, he'll go and claim Mega himself. Here are the rockets. Shield, though, is going to be back up in a moment. He really needs some armor. Missing a good half of his stack. Ah, that's another great use of the... Uh... Oh, just pushes him down to the ground. Very important. Couldn't stand the further pressure. As you can see, all that armor the hang still has. But this is a good chance. LG looking good. Rockets haven't landed yet from the hang. He's going to press the issue through, but there's only nine points of health Whoa. remaining. That mega comes in the nick of time. That was an incredible air rocket as Tox flew over the top of the hang there. But it's it's the right it's the right direction. This is what I really like. It's that constant aggression. He's going to have to use the bull rush again. He just about finds his way through the hallway. Did not know he could be so nimble with that. No, and it's. I see the strategy becoming a little bit clearer now. It's baiting out fights, using the bull rush to get away, and then trying to engage following it. So hopefully, the plan is to not take that much damage in your initial engagement, and that means you can turn around once the shield is down. Oh, the pressure. Both of them are going to hit a lot of lightning gun damage on each other. Chip of rockets, but here comes nice the switch from rocket. the hand. He's getting the first frag once more on the scale bearer. But you can see the problem now, which is that while that's a good tactic in theory, what Tox isn't doing is having enough pressure on the map outside of that thought process. He's not getting on top of these items. He's not doing any chip damage. That's something we saw oh. very successful from Kilson. Oh, he's been spotted anyway. He had the shield up, so he knew exactly where he was. It was a bit foolish to stick around there anyway. Just an unnecessary play coming out from Tox, really. We saw from the interview before that, you know, Dahang says his rockets are on at the moment. If they continue to be, he can do good things. Dahang, though, hurting a lot of Tox, is still going to get a frag. Sorlag seems to be the answer for him at the moment. Yeah, I would, the I would rather w start with the Sorlag. I, I feel the, the speed and maneuverability of the Sorlag offers a lot more than the scale bearer, but Tox seems to Whoa. favor that concept. Oh, one HP left, and Dahang finds the shotgun blast. He's now putting himself 2-0 up. I think, as you say, Solag first, I think, is going to be really the obvious pick. But maybe Dehang will read that and say, OK, if you're picking, you might pick Solag first now. It's possibly something else I can go for. I think Tox is going to stick with the scale bearer. He does. Right. I don't know what I think about that, but we'll find out. Maybe he can make something work. He needs to play less aggressive and in your face, more positional as he was versus Cypher. Just give more respect to Dahang. He's not appreciating the fighting and combat skills that Dahang brings to the table. And begin to pick off this clutch. Play the longer game. You need to whittle him down. Oh, there it is. He's going to swing right past him and he's say, oh, I'll do a <laughs> tiny bit of damage and that'll be all right. One thing Tox wasn't really doing was playing at all on the heavy armor. He took no. about six mega healths in a row, but didn't get anything on the armor side. So he's always so short of that side of the stack. Exactly. That type of damage right there is ideal. You need to do that as well as getting on the major items, whereas Tox was just continually trying to force fights to try and catch the... To make the clutch use his ability immediately. You don't have to force it immediately. That's the point. Just play the longer game and pick and choose your situations. Dang, waiting around the corner. Maybe he spotted him. What a brilliant trap. He's going to go in now with the shield, and Tox is going to end up rocketing himself. That is one more successful engagement on the scale bearer with Clutch. And he's sticking to the mix for the second pick as well. No changes at all. I think there is a little bit of stubbornness coming out from Tox. And look at the stack that the hang here is it's right enormous. here. The hang is going monster mode at the moment. Not much health left for Tox. He has got Ghost Walk Up available, which is the silver lining of this current situation. Ooh, does this one be one rocket? Good. Additional damage got from Tox, and uh, he just recognized that that is the Ghost Walk used. Identifies his location with the rocket, and falls back. That's okay. Tox is still trying to do some damage, but the hang, as you can see, is playing exceptionally well. The Whoa! Wow, his rockets are really on point. I mean, Tox can't seem to do anything at the moment. His LG fires, okay, he's obviously hitting 100% on him, 
but he just doesn't have the health with the Knicks to survive those couple of rockets that the Hang needs to land. I'm not a huge fan of the Knicks against the Clutch, primarily for that reason. Again, a little bit more pressure. Yeah, I won't be surprised at all if the Solar gets the frag, actually, on the <laughs> Clutch. Just because that's been the trend. Gonna land an early rocket, looking for a bit more. But now he knows in just a few seconds' time. Nice, really wow. nice. This is where you can push. He's got to go in. There it is. He's done it yet again. But this time he needs a bit more than that. He's got to be careful of the shotgun. Only 17 points of health oh, left. He's got to be a perfect yeah. at the dodging. And it's going to be the telefrag on him. That is going to be a clean map for Dahang. He is now putting himself on match point after taking Blood Covenant and Corrupted Keep. I mean, it's gone, it's like a pendulum in that he's gone from way too defensive to way over-aggressive. And yes, there is one method of beating the clutch by utilizing that aggressive posture, but I find it's all about your positioning, where he was using it to, to commit. Mm. As you can see, there was just a few sloppy errors and being slightly out of position, such as in this frag, and trying to really force fights with the scale bear that were just unnecessary where you just need to take more aggressive positions and bully the clutch around a little bit more, but keeping your distance. As soon as you get too close, that's where the clutch reigns supreme. And, and unfortunately, the strategy is good in theory, or the, the scale bearer in particular, but in practice, it didn't play out. Mm. I think we need to see a bit more adaptability as well from Tox. Uh, to do the same things you know, three times in a row, and he felt yep. failure three times with scale bearer, three times with Nyx. Solag was brilliant. It was actually an amazing, an amazing pick, but just bring it out a bit sooner. I mean, he's one of these players that he has his style and he's practiced it over and over and over and he feels comfortable with that and that's what he'll stick with. I agree with you completely. And some of the better, the best players we see have that versatility to, to think a bit more dynamically within game and say, this isn't working. Um, yes, it's worked in practice, but that doesn't always mean it's going to work in reality. And you do need to have that versatility. I am a bit more of a favor of a Sword like to start. and give you greater speed around the map. You can be a bit more aggressive with your air control. Um, and especially when the scale bear is not working, that's the opportunity to pick it up, particularly in the third round. But I mean, that's history now. He has to start from scratch, forget what happened. I think he was very close on a number of occasions. And he, the hang did get away with virtually nothing. But even still, yeah. it Absolutely. was just not enough. Let's have a look at the picks over here. We've got Slash for each player and Nyx for each. Tox now, maybe a Solak like has been good for him in the past. I don't know about this triple light champion pickup that he's had before. He is going to go for Solak. Like. Are we going to see Clutch? Good. Absolutely, we're going to see Clutch. And Clutch is hang. good on this map as well because there are a lot of time shards around, but there is the opportunity to put a, a lot of pressure out on this map. Unlike Blood Run, it, it, this map is slightly more akin to Blood Cover than where Tox had a lot of success and, and really could have won that. It went down to the absolute nut wire in the last round. And the key is, when if it comes to clutch, um, then just again, don't overcommit. Use the rail on this map to really bait out the clutch, whittle him down, and if, if the hang wants to push when he's low, then let him. Mm. If not, once he's popped that shield and he's trying to retreat, that's your, that's your kind of indication to go in hard. Absolutely, and I just want to give a quick shout out to all the thousands of people watching, especially over Twitch. Uh, we are watching on Quake Champions at the moment. It's a game currently in early access, and uh, you can go grab that on Steam if you want to get your hands on the game as well. It is the legendary arena FPS game with a lot of history in the esports scene, and we're going to see if possibly further history can be made now. Dahang. He won with Team Liquid on the sacrifice. He's currently on match point going against the home crowd favorite, Toxic. Let's get into Ruins of Sarnath. And starting us off, it is going to be Tox. Slash versus Slash. Let's do this. This is something that Tox should be very comfortable on, although obviously we don't want to say things will be easy with what we've seen from the hang with his cha this champion too. Yep, and what we need to see from Tox is just Hello. Oh, nice, from behind. Oh, he's got to go through the plasma trail. Almost going to get fired back, and he's going to find the shotgun blast. How did that turn around so damn quickly? I was sure that Tox was going to have the jump on the hang, but somehow the plasma trail and the rocket just Whoa. did enough. Just gets onto the mega in time to hang. Paranoid as ever that that ghost walk is going to lead to another sneak attack. But that plasma trail reaction, I think, was also something that contributed nicely for Dahang. But they're going to find each other straight away. That ghost walk's not up for a while. And Dahang is slightly weak. We'll fade away from that fight. So, yeah, Tox being ultra aggressive, but now the time has passed. Whoa. He needs to settle down. He has plenty of time. 
can see quite a lot of high octane action already on Ruins. It's first minute. Mega's up. Immediately takes away all that stack. Tag oh, tries yee. to get away. Just about makes it. We have got the heavy that spawns in a second. Misses out on the rail. That means that Dahan can get the armor cleanly. But Tox just keeps hitting rail shots at the moment. And He's just got to find the finishing blow. Yeah, that's that's what he needs. He just needs to keep hitting those rails. If his rail's on point, that's his biggest opportunity in this game. Here comes the cycle once more. Dahan grabbing the mega health. Armor to be contested soon. I hope for Tox's sake he's going to be there to do some damage from one side or another. Comes from the low exit, deals a great rocket. There's a follow-up as well, nice. and he's going to find it. He pops the Ghost Walk just, just for security. Time. Just in time. I think I think the Hang's last rocket would have killed him, actually. I think it went straight yeah. through his puff of smoke. So impeccable play. Hitting that first rocket and bouncing the Hang around was ideal. Knowing exactly what the Hang was doing down there, understood the item timing and got the good shots in. This is an interesting move, though, from Tox, because he didn't go over to the Mega straight away, and Dahang actually ended up popping the Ghost Walk. So maybe he just expected there was going to be oh. some kind of sneak attack going very quickly. Looking for a rail. Of course, he's going to land it. Searching for one more, possibly. Again, he hits it, but he's got to be careful of that retaliation. That was a good defensive uh, rail from Dahang to make sure that he's given a bit of space. Yeah, Tox's rail is on point, but... To hang trading blow for blow at the moment, keeping Tox on the back foot as he pushes in here aggressive. Shotgun. Knowing the hang still doesn't have the ghost walk up. Blast, maybe. He can't nice. find it. There it is. And Tox is now going to take the lead on this round, but it's the clutch to go against. He's struggled so much with this. He's going to be closed in on, and he's going to end up blowing himself up. But he did on a lot of damage shield. in the process. Tox will be able to get some semblance of stack, but even with this major item, you can see how low he is compared to what he can be. We've seen also that uh, Tox has saw like it's a 100% success rate against the Dehang clutch. That is a correct stat. You like my little stat? That's, that's good. I do. You're Thought beasting them this event. All up on my own. But uh, despite that, Dehang is finally starting to find out his true potential with health and armor. Going very close range. Managed to he land a lot hit. of that. Okay, the ticking damage. Yes, it's going to take is. him down. Dehang. Sorry, Tox is going to take this round. Well played. Very well really played. Really well played. His rail is on point. He This time he was choosing he the right time to be aggressive. I think against Cypher, like we talked about, he was very passive. And I do think he needs to reassess just how aggressive he is. It's quite nerve-wracking when he's oh. doing these kind of ultra-aggressive pushes that are just somewhat unnecessary. Wow. When the hang is hitting so many perfect rockets, Tox needs to reassess how much he needs to push in because not all of these... Not all of these aggressive maneuvers are necessary. Yeah, we're seeing some pretty crazy acrobatics as well between the two of them, but it always seems to be the hang coming out on top in those. I think the hang might Did have heard him? that. I'm not sure. Oh, he might have heard him now, definitely, as he drops down. The armor's not going to be up in a moment. He's going to swing on past him, and all that pressure with the plasma trail, he was totally surrounded. Yeah, toxic in no man's land, not really knowing what to do. I don't think I've ever seen to hang on such a, a mission in this tournament. This is unlike a performance we've seen from him ever in the past. He takes one blow on the previous round and he comes back fighting what looks like three times stronger. Wow. Like this, what I... Oh my god, he might get it again, but he's going to take the mega health and he's going to try and close the gap now. But he's just going to miss out on it and hits it. Nice wow. Trail. How did he manage that? Armor's up. Oof, that rail angle is almost present. 10 HP remaining. That's exactly what he needs. But again, all of that comes from Tox kind of signing his own fate, going way too aggressive. He's got one rocket left. He needs to do some magic with it. Oh, no, he's going to fade away from it. He still knows the hang is weak, but it needs more than one rail to do it. So not low enough to go crazy just yet. He's found him. Look at the pressure and the speed he's bringing to this fight. But he can't quite land too much. Here comes the Acid Spit. This is good. And he finally closes that one out. 
but he's low on health and armor. He needs to perpetuate some control somehow. And uh, this will be the start of it, quite possibly, with a nice heavy armor taken. I think Tox feels like he's still playing sacrifice with the speed and aggression he's flying around the map. <laughs> but the hang is putting up a mighty good defense against it as well, so... It's always those rockets, isn't it? They just deal such amazing initial damage for him. It's not even just initial, it's actually just almost all the damage. It's just damage. Yeah. <laughs> Raw fire output. Tox, though, at least he's given himself... Although he's very, very quick and furious early. He's given himself a lot of time to make this comeback against just the Knicks. He needs at least that kill to have a chance of winning this round. Nice trap by Tox. And that's what I see. That's what I didn't see more of. He played very smart against Cypher, got numerous traps off, particularly by playing position around that mid-level above the rail. It's a great area because you gain an awful lot of information. You can keep track of your opponent and you've got numerous angles both on the red and the mega. So if Tox can play more positional like that, I definitely think he's got a great opportunity to take this one from the hang. Oh, he's going to chase through the teleporter. I think he heard him behind. Oh, not going to be able to spot him going down to heavy. He may have heard it getting taken. Yeah, that will signal me yes. He's continuing to go on these jumps, finds him through the cracks. Oh, but dear. Ghost walk. This is very bad news for Tox. Yeah. I I'm not sure. Obviously, the hang didn't know how much damage that self rocket did to Tox. That rail he did would a couple have as well. Him. If you include the rocket jumps, he also yeah, exactly. rocketed himself after. I mean, that was tremendously you can painful. See the hang is turtling now. Just over one minute to go, but also the ghost walk isn't up, and they're just sneaking around trying to pick up more of the time shards. He, it, the pressure's on Tox. There's no reason the hang needs to overextend. So what we expect to see from the hang now is that positional play that I actually want to see from Tox. So gaining the information on where Tox is, trying to pick him off at angles, and keeping Tox low enough to not pressure in. Man, can't hit the rail, though, as pressure only put on by Dahang, and I think he just saw Ghost Walk. Yep, he's scared of, of seeing what Dahang can do. He hits one shot, he can't land oh, the follow-up, but Dahang! He takes him down. He's going to tie up the round score here on Ruins. Brings himself a step closer to that double championship title. Yeah, Tox needs to reassess his approach. He's losing his first champion too easily. He needs to keep that Slash on the board. Well, he's going to start with Slash again. And uh, with some nice armor. Let's see what he can do with this. Rockets will be necessary, and he's just spotted it. He's going to be using the Plasma Troll just to get away and to hang already landing shots. Wow. Going under the gauntlet, but he can't do anything, and it's like deja vu ZSX. It really is. Yes, the hang is also playing just as quick, but Tox needs to be aware. I mean, I think, I think he was aware of what the hang was going to do, but it's such a risky move trying to meet him in that corridor, because as you can see, it was almost 50-50, and if you don't come out on top, and you're just on the back foot for the rest of the round. Tox is also adamant not to get anything changed in terms of when he uses which champion. Oh, the solid rail over here. Plasma trail going to be used. Going around to the lower part of this. Oh! oh rail shot to Hang. That was spectacular from him. Boy, oh boy, to Hang is here to play. This is, he, he's playing at an absolute another level at the moment. Yeah, that went through her legs. Tox, he's going to drop down the hang. Not willing to challenge now. I mean, look at this. It's one minute into the game, and Tox is already on the Sawlag, like the last champion. Look, if he goes down in this round, I need to get a memo to him. Maybe the Sawlag first, because he's... <laughs> I, honestly, he's done such amazing work with her. Here come the rocket jumps one more time. Really picking up the speed at the moment. Heavy armor's going to be here soon, and he's closing it up. Got to watch out. Oh, that you... plasma trail hurts so much. Mm. I don't know if Dahang really knows how much damage he no, did from that, but it was a lot. Yeah, it's difficult to tell on the plasma trail how much you do. But, I mean, Dahang doesn't care. Oh, that was nice. Rail to follow up. Dahang still has a great stack, though. Tox is just being a little bit reckless with his movement, giving free angles for Dahang to hit rails and do free damage. Tox just needs to be more careful. It's as simple as that. Is he being chased? He is, careful. definitely. Over the rail, gets the acid out, tries to block off the choke point. He really wants this heavy armor. Spawns in a second, that rail was... Like that, it's just 
So you don't need to give away those angles. If the hang hits it, you're dead. Bang. One more rail. He's got the LG out looking over to close this round down, and he's got it. I'm just baffled by some of these decisions. First, you give multiple angles for the hang to hit you. Then you push up to the hang when you're low. Tox needs to settle down before that this game. That was just unbelievable. That shot ends. Yeah. And uh, he's finally changed it. There we go, Zoom. He did he's it. He it. did it. We got so like to begin with on Toxic. This is the turnaround round. Well, it's better late than never. If you're a Tox fan, maybe this will be at least one foot in the door for him back into the match. He's got to win this round and the next if he wants to continue having a chance here. Wow, again, giving up an angle. Got to be careful. The pressure once more. Dahang, he wants to close off this frag now, but he cannot quite make it. Heavy is in a moment. And that is the difference between Tox and Dahang at this point in time. Dahang recognizing when to push, but did not overcommit. As soon as Tox was gone, Dahang limited any potential kind of counter damage and went back to rotating the map. Tox going to look to at least survive the first couple of minutes at the moment. This is something he struggled on ruins. He's got no more rockets now, but lands a bit of acid damage. He gets the switch away. Only LG. It's not a good time to lose out on ammunition. Oh, that rocket does hit a little bit. The hang's going to flee. This could be a good chance for... Oh, is Tox maybe going to set up a trap? He is. This is great damage. He's going to find a rocket as well, and he nice. gets the first frag. That's what Tox needed, but... He is so weak at the moment. He's going to spot him on the side. Rockets forces out the ghost. More health, though. Back. He's got over the health. Look bubble. at the teleporter exit, maybe. Is that where the he's hangs, going to appear? The hang's way too low to try and make a risky move like that. Yeah, I think that, that would be a bit of a... That would be very ballsy. If it was Tox, then maybe. <laughs> Tox is starting to find his feet once again after that close fight earlier. And if there is one Quake player to do it, it is multiple world champion Tox. It's been some time since his uh, last dual title. Time to freshen things up a bit for him if he can make what would be an extraordinary comeback in this series. He seems to have calmed down quite a lot, keeping the pace fairly slow, but manipulating his way back onto the items. Find. Oh, he missed Ooh. out on the rocket, though, and that's going to have to cause him to settle down a little bit. He really needs to find a way to get back to that full natural armor stack. Not going to be able to get onto the heavy anymore, as he just scouts it out. Yeah, way too late for that, so an interesting decision to drop down and give up high ground positional advantage. Now Tox is completely out of position to even challenge for this Mega health and the hang will be dropping down here. Whoa. There's a couple of decent rockets actually, but it is going to be the hang who's able to get onto heavy. Going to use the acid spit just to block a choke point. Oh, the angle! He's going to be found. He's not vulnerable to another rail, but Tox is landing insane shots, keeping himself alive in this. Just firing off a bit of spam. Doesn't know totally where the hang is right now, but he checks out his raw resources on the outskirts of the map. Ghost Hawk is up. Two, just under two minutes remaining, and Tox does have that advantage still. I wonder if he's going to go in for the full control again. If he can get heavy, this is a really, really a big deal. He can't get it, but the immediate punishment from Tox. And it was after it was picked up as well, so the absolute perfect timing to hit that rail. I think he's uh, heard him on the side. Looking to hone down on that rail. Oh, he finds the shot. What kind of things is he landing at the moment? Chip damage with the rail, goes for the spam. Won't get it, but the hang you can see below his character. Nice. Oh, he's going down. Tox well and truly in this at the moment. And now it is just the clutch that separates him from the tie-breaking round. I mean, this is great play by Tox. Just holding off the clutch now. And shield down. Got to be careful of that nail gun. It can be very effective against Sword. Like he finds one rail, but again, has to give some respect. The hang has got over a 100-100 stack at the moment. He does, but he also only has 40 seconds Whoa. to make something happen. Oh, the rocket's coming in over here. 49 health left into hang. He does find the rocket frag. 35 seconds to go. Pick Slash and not Nyx. I think that might be an all right decision, considering the, the shield seeing the ghost walk. But there is, yeah, there's two shield up, though. D certainly uh, debatable, that one. 
20 seconds is what Tox needs to survive in this to hang. Oh, he's got no time to pick up any items, so there's not going to be much more stack than this that he can work with. He's just got to try and find Toxic. I'm sure he knows where he is. It's <laughs> the most common hiding place in yeah. this map. The Tox has escaped. He's just figured out now, but I think his movement has set him down back just a small step. So Tox, Ooh. he pushes through, and uh, he's got another chance now to take a map. I mean, it's been a long time coming for Tox to settle down and play a much more slower and calculated game, but you can see what happens when he does. He started with Slash, though. Going back to Slash after such a successful round. Oh, dang, finds him. He's not able to land the damage there. You know, maybe we're going to see... I mean, I don't want to put too many thoughts into heads, but maybe we'll see the psychological advantage possibly go Toxic's way. He's had a lot more finals experience. The hang is on the absolute brink of what would be extraordinary a result of this tournament. He can't get in his own head at the moment. It would be a monumental achievement for him. But this is good. Tox is playing much more careful and calculated, skirting around the outskirts, not go committing for the item, not pressuring. Whoa. Oh my god! What? That a combo. combo from De Hang was surreal. Very, very clean. And that slash has gone immediately. And uh, this time Tox has gone with the Sawlag, trying to hold back from that slash, but he's taking oh, a lot of damage. Wow. De Hang is popping off right now. He is a frag away from taking down the tournament. And when I say tournament, I mean, literally mean the whole thing, because he's already taken Sacrifice, Duel. He's on the Doing that would be yeah. insane. Tox needs to really settle down. There's plenty of time left. There's no need to be rash right now. You're on your last champion and the last round. <sighs> There's a rocket. Look oh, at the combo. my word. That could have been it just there. The Ghost Walk is right behind. He's found him. Tox is in such trouble. And he's dead. That's it. De Hang, he is your double champion here at DreamHack Winter 2017 in the Quake Champions Invitational. Can you believe it? I mean, De Hang played that to absolute perfection. I've seen De Hang play many, many times in super tense situations, but never have I seen him play it to perfection. His strategy was on point. He has revolutionized the use of clutch, and now his mechanical skills at the par. Well played to hack. Oh, I'm, I'm practically speechless. I, I can't believe he's taken down both of them. NA looking supreme, and I'm so curious actually how to hang's feeling at the moment. He's known for his ice cold nerves, but I mean we saw the collapse straight after the victory. That is I know. unbelievable. I think Machiavelli is going to be sick on the amount of EU tears he has to drink right now because. <laughs> because that was an absolute whitewash. All credit to Tox for getting there. He put up such a fight to especially get past Cypher, but he was met by the stalwart that is to hang. I mean, how many demons did he conquer today? I guess you can't really call Rafa a demon anymore of the amount of experience he's got beating him in Quake Champions, no, but no. taking the title as well for I mean, number one all achievement all for him. All credit to the man for realizing, for conceptualizing what works for me in this game. When everyone else had given up faith on the robot, to hang stuck true, he analyzed the game, he analyzed his own strengths and weaknesses and worked out an ideal strategy to not only conquer a couple of opponents, but to conquer all of them. And He's, he's, he's paving the way for what is now Quake Champion strategy. I Mister. think there's going to be a lot of EU players that are scratching their heads after that, thinking, we thought we found the perfect meta. We thought we designed the meta. And uh, the hang, I mean, just unbelievable performance. And getting that skill transferability over from Sacrifice into Duel, we know he puts lots of time into this and, you know, getting rewarded exactly the way he deserves. Absolutely phenomenal grand finals to hang. He's a beast. ZSX and I are going to roll out, and we are going to roll in with.